What's up my beautiful babes? So have you guys ever looked in the mirror after watching one of my videos and been like, is this the right hair color for my skin? Is this the right hair color for me? Would Brad disapprove of my hair color? <laughs> I am here today to break it down for you, to give you the simple rules on how to pick out the correct hair color for your skin tone, for your personality. So if you guys are interested in figuring out what the best hair color for you is, then stay tuned, we're gonna get it started. So we're gonna start off talking about skin tone and learning about what skin tone you have. And a lot of people know about this, a lot of people don't know about this, so if you know all about skin tone and what skin tone you have, then you can skip through this part and go on to the next part. So we're gonna start off talking about cool tone skin. Cool tone people usually have skin that's more on the fair side, they don't tan very easily. You also usually have a lot of pink undertones in your skin, your cheeks can be flushed. You are most likely born with darker hair, possibly black or brown. Typically people with cool tone skin have blue eyes, green eyes, uh, dark, dark, dark eyes, like almost black. You can also look on your wrist right here. If you have blue toned veins, then that usually means that you have cool skin. And now moving on to warm tones. Warm tones is the complete opposite of that. So think of cool tones as being a rainy, stormy day. There's a lot of purples, blues, pinks, and then warm is when it's a sunny day. And you know, there's a lot of oranges, there's reds, there's yellows, a lot, a lot of yellows from the sun. Uh, those are warm tones. So if you see a lot of yellow in your skin, it's kind of, I, it's kind of hard for some people to decipher between pink and yellow in skin tones because they kind of get distracted with the overall color. Warm skin tones, usually people have hazel eyes, light brown. There's a lot of like gold flecks in their eyes usually. Your natural hair color is usually like a very rich chocolatey brown. Your skin is usually very, very glowy, very, very dewy, very sun-kissed. And typically people with warm skin tones tan very easily and they get very, very dark. So lastly, we have a neutral skin tone, which is obviously a mixture between the cool and the warm and they have both characteristics in their skin, which is me. I, I mean, I lean more on the cool side, but I can definitely rock some warm colors and some cool colors. So that's pretty sweet. <laughs> if you have a cool toned skin, usually you can rock like any bright jewel tone color, such as blue, pink, purple, like anything really rich will look so amazing on your skin. Like a violet based red would look so gorgeous. A super dark brown or black is always stunning on cool tone skin. Also my favorite color, cool tone blonde. It's like a very, very platinum white blonde like I have is so, so, so stunning on people with cool toned skin. But I would avoid colors that have copper in them or red. Caramel or honey blonde is not gonna work at all. Make sure if you do blonde, it is perfectly white and ashy because otherwise it's just gonna make you look kind of like gross. <laughs> Even when I first bleach my hair, it has a lot of yellow in it and I look in the mirror and I'm like, this looks crazy, but then I put the toner on and it makes me have more of a cool tone blonde, which complements my skin tone way, way more. Uh, so brassy blondes is just not gonna look cute. Brassy, any kind of brass, I hate that word, but like brassy, people know that word, it's very commonly used, so like I like to use it with clients. Um, brass tones are gonna look terrible, just terrible. So a person with warm tone skin can usually rock like a chocolatey brown, very rich, rich browns look amazing. Warm, warm blondes, like brassy hair looks stunning on them. Even like when it's orangey, copper, all those colors will look super stunning on warm toned skin and will make you look so, so glowy and healthy. You can also be super, super blonde with warm toned skin, but it has to be a more warm toned blonde. So more like a honey blonde, sun-kissed blonde, 
something with a little bit of yellow in it. So of course, somebody with a neutral skin color can typically wear whatever color they want to and it'll look great, but you know, everybody kind of has a side. I am neutral, but I lean more towards the cool side um, because I have a little bit more pink showing in my skin than yellow. So more cool toned hair looks better on me. But you know, then there is neutral hair colors where the hair color is not warm nor cool. It's just right in between. And you know, a person with neutral skin tone might, it might work best for them to do a neutral color so like a very neutral brown, a very neutral red, a very neutral blonde, anything like that will probably complement their skin the best. You know, go with whatever is more predominant in your skin. For me, it's more pink toned, so I look better with cool toned hair, but then again, I could totally rock a warm toned color if I really wanted to. So I wanted to pull up pictures of a few celebrity hair colors and talk about them and talk about why it works best for them. As you can see, Jennifer Aniston has gorgeous hair and I think it complements her skin perfectly. She looks so beautiful and it makes her almost look younger. Um, she has a lot of warm golden tones throughout the ends of her hair. She definitely is neutral. I see pinks in her skin. And here's another picture of Jennifer with a different toned blonde. This is more of an ashy, cool toned blonde. And as you can see, it still works on her and it still looks great, but I personally think that she looks way younger in the picture, the other picture with her warm hair than she does with the cool hair. Um, and she looks way more healthy and glowy with the warmer hair than the cooler hair. And now we have Eva Longoria who has very, very, very warm skin. As you can see in the picture, she has very yellow undertones, kind of an orangey undertone, very bronze, sun-kissed, super, super pretty, very, very healthy, glowy skin. That is the best part about warm skin tones. It's it looks super healthy and glowy all the time. And as you can see, she has a dark brown hair color, but the dark brown is more of like a warm, rich, chocolatey with like lighter pieces. But you know, the lighter pieces are kind of brassy, orangey, but it looks so, so good with her skin tone because it complements it perfectly brings out the yellows in her skin, which makes her look more glowy and more healthy. Now here is Eva Longoria with a very cool toned black hair color. And to me, it looks terrible. <laughs> See, it doesn't really work with her skin tone. It's kind of like combating it. She looks so beautiful still, but as you can see in the last photo, she looks way better in that one than she does in this one with the cool colored hair. It kind of makes her look a little sickly. But that's just my opinion. And here we have Naomi Campbell, who also has warm toned hair. You can see the light reflecting off of her hair and giving kind of like an orangey cast. And also you can see that her skin tone is super yellow, orange, but still deep. And it's super, super, super pretty. She has an amazing skin tone. She should be like a model or something. Like, oh my God. <laughs> Maybe we can find a picture of her with cool toned hair. Let me see. See? just doesn't work. It doesn't complement her skin at all. Isn't that crazy how much hair color can affect the way that you look? I think it's so unbelievable. <laughs> and here we have Katy Perry who has, I feel like she has very cool skin. She doesn't have much yellow showing. Maybe if she's wearing bronzer in this picture, I can see like a little bit of a tint of yellow, but for the most part, she has pretty fair skin with a little bit of pink showing through. And as you can see, she has super cool tone dark hair and it complements her eyes super well, makes her eyes pop and makes her look really pretty. Uh, here's another one with her. Uh, she has purple hair and as you can see, looks stunning with her skin. Doesn't make her look sickly at all. It makes her look kind of glowy and beautiful. And now we have the infamous Rihanna red hair color. See how this, color is very orange. It's a, it's still red, but it has a ton of orange undertones to it. And her skin is clearly very warm, which is making her look very glowy and beautiful. And here's more of a violet color. It's still warm, but it's a little more violet. And as you can see, her skin does not look nearly as glowy as it did with the coppery 
orangey, fiery red. All right, you guys, so basically to sum all of it up, of course, you know, if you have warm skin, you look great with warm color. If you have cool skin, you look great with cool color. If you have neutral, you can wear both. But at the end of the day, I don't really feel like it's that important to always follow those rules. You know, rules are meant to be broken, honey. <laughs> uh, so, you know, I feel like I like to go with people's personalities instead of skin tone a lot of the time. If you have this crazy personality, you can totally rock that flaming red, even though you have uh, cool toned skin. You can also, you know, rock blue hair, even if you have warm, warm skin. You know, if you have the right personality for it and you can carry it with confidence, I think you can totally work any hair color you really want to. But if you want the best hair color that's probably gonna suit you and make you look super healthy and glowy and beautiful, then definitely stick to these rules. And you know what? Live your extra life, do whatever you want and whatever makes you happy. Who really cares what people think? As long as you feel beautiful, that is all that really matters and you know what you can also change your makeup that's the fun part you can wear a foundation that is cool tone or you can wear a foundation that is warm tone depending on what your hair color is that way everything looks super cohesive so yeah i say you know have fun with it take these rules into consideration but don't take them too too seriously all right i hope i helped you guys discover what hair color might look best on you thank you all so much for watching today don't forget to live your extra life, and I will see you all next time. Peace.